TV. How you feel about the whole Vlad TV situation when he uh, misquoted the minister? Well, you know, again, I recognize that, as Malcolm X said, the media is the most powerful entity on the earth. He said because they can have the guilty looking innocent and the innocent looking guilty. Mm. Again, I don't know Vlad's state of mind mm -hmm. or why he did what he did as it relates to misquoting the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, but I can say that it was an egregious act because any text out of context is a pretext for a proof text. Mm. So you quote the minister, but you, you don't give the full context because you were trying to mischaracterize him and paint him. You know what I mean? In a certain way, you were trying to poison the well. Mm. And we always see that, brother, in wreck with the Honorable Minister mm. Louis Farrakhan. We can see it being done now with the One Night in Miami. I don't know if you watched that movie yet. Nah, I yeah, mean, but it's a lot of, oh, right? Yeah? There's a lot of suggestion, suggestions geared toward the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in that movie. Mm. But it's something that those who have always tried to thwart and stop Minister Farrakhan's progress. You understand? Mm -hmm. As it relates to black people, they've always lied. They've always slandered him. You understand? Always quoting him out of context. So, again, this is nothing new. But when I seen Vlad do it, a man that benefits so much off of black culture. Hmm. You understand? Yes, sir. You know, I was a little flabbergasted mm. that, that he would have the unmitigated gall. To, to, to be brave enough or to have the courage to misquote the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and to a man like D.L. Hughley. You understand? Mm -hmm. and, and, and and I was more, not so much surprised that Vlad, but D.L. You understand? Mm -hmm. For just, because all of these, 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 these black celebrities and A-list stars, they have rubbed shoulders with the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yes, sir. There's so many testimonies of rappers and and stars that ran into issues and hmm. the media were trying to indict them. And Minister Farrakhan stood up and he defended them. Yes, sir. Even when it looked like they were in the wrong. We, we've seen him do it time after time after time. But it seems like mm -hmm. when it comes to defending him, we don't do it. Mm. Now, I'm not saying that DL is wrong one way or the other mm -hmm. to each his own. But to let an outsider... You understand? Because Vlad is not of the black community. He benefits from it. Yes, sir. So to let an outsider, somebody that's not of your kith and kin, do that to a renowned, prominent leader. The Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan got over 65 years mm -hmm. of dedicated, consistent service to black people here in North America. You know how long that is, uh, brother uh, M. Rex? 65 years? That's almost 780 months. Man that the minister has been working diligently among black people. And whether we agree with him mm -hmm. or not, we know that when it comes to black people, Minister Farrakhan got our best interest in heart and mind. That's a you fact. You understand? So yes. when I seen, you know, what Vlad did, I looked at it again as, um, I, I looked at it as something egregious. Mm. But you, you have seen many of our black stars, mm -hmm. Stand up for the minister. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, definitely. You, you see the, you've seen uh, 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 Lord Jamar, uh -huh. uh, Brother Godfrey. Mm -hmm. I seen uh, Peter Guns. Did you see the Peter Guns interview? Now, I, I, I didn't see the it. Peter Guns. I seen Royce yeah. the Five Nine. Uh, Faith on Love. Yeah. So many I yeah. seen. Yeah, Royce the Five Nine. Brother, he definitely Royce was. Royce the Five yeah. Nine. Like, mm -hmm. man, you know, Vlad, you gotta, Vlad, you, gotta, have to, you, you gotta make that right. Yeah. Gotta apologize to the minister. Yeah, you gotta, make, you gotta yeah. make that right. So again, um, and, and I think that Vlad influence is definitely waning from that hmm. because it is something that's on black people's radar. Mm -hmm. And we have to take a stand and let these outsiders know, or as Dame Dash call them, these culture vultures know mm. that listen, do what you do, but you can't you can't try to uh, belittle our heroes and our sheroes. No, that's that we not going to tolerate. Mm. And until we stand up, brother M. Rec, these type of individuals will continue to perpetrate what it is that they perpetrate, you know? Yes, sir, my brother. Listen, 
I don't understand why they go outside of the black man anyway when it when it comes to media and rec TV is here. Yeah. <laughs> you see the nation. That's what Lord Jamal was saying. You know, he got his platform up, uh -huh. it's going well. And that's what he was saying. Like, we gotta support one another. We yeah. gotta support our own. That we can't continue to make these individuals rich and they don't contribute to our community. Mm -hmm. Not like we contribute to them. Mm -hmm. You understand? According to Nielsen, uh, the Consumers Report, they say over $1.1 trillion passed through black people hand a year. Mm. And by 2022, they say $1.54 trillion we're estimated to touch and have. Damn. You understand? So we got that type of uh, buying power, then we got to mm -hmm. elevate and support our own brothers like you, brothers mm -hmm. like Godfrey, mm -hmm. brothers like Lord Jamar, mm -hmm. uh, Hip Hop for Justice, so many other black media platforms, uh, Boyce Watkins, yes. you know, Sister Vicky Dillard, so many of our people who are growing. Like I said, I see you growing exponentially, you know, and Thank it's going to be man. our support that's going to take you where you need to go. That's so. a fact, my brother. And I appreciate you um, blessing me and my viewers with your presence and your knowledge and, you know, just really addressing everything that the people, because the people was like, in rec, like, what's going on? Like, why these uh, black entertainers and celebrities are going to this platform when they can come to you? And I don't have an answer for them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, could, I do got an answer, but I try not to, you know what I'm saying, expose... Yeah. Because, you know, yeah, that, that's the thing I with me. I, I, I could blow it up. I mean, it's just self-hate. Like, if I really want to just, you know what I mean? It <laughs> yes, is what sir. it is. Yes, sir. The other man's uh, water is colder. <laughs> but but that's what that's what Carter G. Woodson said, that if the Negro in the ghetto must be eternally fed by the hand that pushes him in the ghetto, he'll never have enough strength to get out of the ghetto. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, man, that we have to do for self. Mm -hmm. That we got to pull our resources, education, and qualifications for independence. Yes. We got to stop forcing ourselves into places where we are not wanted. Make our own neighborhoods a decent place to live. And stop wanton criticism of everything that's black-owned and black-operated. Mm -hmm. You understand? Exactly. So, Brother Enrec, we see you. We know you in your infancy stage. But we can't hold you to the same standard that we're going to hold NBC to or ABC to. Yes, sir. You understand? We, we, we 465 years behind. Hmm. You follow me? So mm -hmm. our people got to look at the totality of the circumstance and judge us based on that. You follow me? And be patient with your brother and your sister. You understand? We can't be so quick to indict mm -hmm. and so quick to throw our brother and sister away when they don't meet our, our standard. You understand? We start comparing them to our oppressor. But you're not my oppressor, brother. You're my brother, so I'm going to give you the benefit nice. of the doubt two, three, four, five, and six times. And I'm going to come and aid you and say, bro, Enric, this is how you do that. I'm not going to laugh and hold up my hand when I got knowledge that you maybe don't have. No, we got to stop that. Mm -hmm. We got to start really aiding and mm -hmm. assisting one another and networking our human capital. Mm. You understand? Not just our, our financial capital, but our human capital, meaning our knowledge. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, yes, sir, we got to do that, brother. We got to network more. I'm with you, my brother. I agree. So let the people know how they can reach you on social media. Well, I'm at uh, Abdul Haq Muhammad. It's Abdul underscore Haq underscore mm -hmm. Muhammad on Instagram. And on Twitter, I'm just Abdul Haq Muhammad. And also on Facebook, Abdul Haq Muhammad. You just type it in. Allah willing, I should come right up. You hear something? Huh? Have you guys heard of Stream Boss? It's a new IPTV provider that gives you over 5,000 channels for only $20 a month. <laughs> cool! $20 for live TV, local TV, movies, TV shows, pay-per-views, and so much more. Huh? What? If you have a Fire Stick, Smart TV, or streaming device, then head on over to StreamBoss.com to begin your setup process. Ladies and gentlemen, if you suffer from low libido, poor drive, or subpar bedroom performance, don't skip this ad. Youth Fountain Laboratory, makers of the Plaqueout Nato Kinase Cocktail, has created a powerful dietary supplement, strong enough for men, yet safe enough for women. 
Introducing Vasoflux, a unique blend of 20 herbs, barks, roots, and compounds designed to turn back the hands of time. Vasoflux is made of ingredients clinically proven to help improve blood flow, lower blood pressure, increase libido for both men and women, improve performance, increase energy and drive, and reduce menopausal symptoms in women while restoring virility in men. For more info, visit Youth Fountain Laboratory at youthfountainlab.com or call toll-free at 1-800-853-7856. And remember, if you want to turn back the clock, try Vasoflux. No, you're the plug and such. You a joke's bound to happen if you slipping or you lacking. I'm gripping on the mat tin, ready for the action. Shots to make you break dash and have you do a backspin. I got more kicks than karate flicks. My whole team pushing Maserati whips. You all IG like in thotty picks. Shorty pocket broke, but her body fixed. Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV. Contact MREC TV promo M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. Wreck TV. It's got a music.